paper shape just like this for example is the normal ventricle now see whenever the blood that is coming from the what whenever the blood that is coming from the atrium for example during the rapid ventricular filling whenever the blood will come over here and it will hit the what endocardium over here in the myocardium then we will see this the the ventricle that will what that is that is that is having a compliance and then it will get expanded just like this it will get stretched out it will get stretched out you can get the stretch, stretching because of the compliance but what about this thing i should compare the whenever we are using some you know any individual who is under the what anti tubercular therapy in this case what are the problem we will see this individual will have also the ventricular surface just like this now in this cases we will get in the outermost layer for example in this cases we will get the calcification we will get what we will get the calcification so when you are getting the calcification so the calcified ventricle in this cases for example now see whenever the blood that will come from the atrium and the blood that will hit the endometrium over here but there will be no compliance because it is it is getting calcified as it is at will see it will be hard over here so there will be no compliance and that will leads to what pericard you know constrictive pericarditis so under we can write it over here that under anti tubercular therapy we are getting what the calcifications outside the ventricle as a result whatever thing will get over here will get the constrictive pericarditis constrictive pericarditis just like this okay so this type of thing will get in terms of what anti tubercular therapy so it's good that it will remove the symptoms for in terms of the tubercular infections but the problem is over here that when you are using the anti tubercular therapy the problem is over here that around the ventricles okay it will just made a layer cap of calcification that means the valve that will get calcified now whenever it will get the no, side the ventricle that will get calcified now whenever it will get calcified whenever the blood from the atria will come within the ventricles there is no chances there is no chances for the ventricle to get expanded or there will be no compliance of the ventricle so as a result we will see the constrictive pericarditis constrictive pericarditis that leads to the formation of constrictive pericarditis so that's all for today in terms of the first ultrasound and its clinical correlates in the subsequent part we will talk about more in details so thanks for watching